Aaliyah Lamb had some driver's license issues, so she put her new car in her ex's name. But when they broke up, her ex stole her car. Now she says her life has been put on hold. She's suing for $2,900. Martez Brown claims his ex is a crazy car crashing hothead who lost her cool when she suspected him of cheating. Martez claims the car is in his name, so he's entitled to keep it. And he's countersuing her for $5,000 to pay for the damage she did to a car he lent her. We have uh, Aaliyah. Yes. And you are suing your ex-boyfriend. Yes, my low-life ex-boyfriend. Uh, it doesn't say low-life here, but okay, uh, ex-boyfriend. Ex uh, you're suing him, why? Um, I'm suing him because he's been trying to make my life a living hell. Ooh. Yes, came over my house and him and his boyfriend over there stole my car and he's been just trying to ruin me, Your Honor, Okay. because how, I don't want to be with him. How did he steal your car? Um, I um, got my car in his name because I don't have license at the moment right now. They're under suspension and I trusted him and I asked for his help, which he agreed to and I have proof. Do you need a license to buy a car though? No, you do not. But where I got it from off of Facebook market, they don't do 30 day tags. So he was my last option. He said, I'll help you. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself out. I want to see you get around. I want to see you do better. So we agreed and he agreed to get it in his name. And I found my car on Facebook market. I bought it off someone personally. So that's why I got it in his name. Okay. And you paid how much? 2,900? Yes, I did. Okay. But he was the one driving it. No, he was not. I was driving it. But you don't have a license. I don't have a license, but so I still need to get around and I still needed to get my son to daycare. I wasn't just driving it for a She also the one who crashed use. it too. Okay. Never crashed anything. Okay. So what happened then? Okay, so I found out that he was cheating on me and you know, I told him I didn't want to be with him and he couldn't accept that. You know, he's been trying to do everything in his power to ruin me and make my life a living hell, which he's been doing. My life has been on pause because of this. Yeah. Your Honor, that's not true. It, but you're Wait, a liar. You, you said he stole the car? Yes, How? him and his little boyfriend over there came to my house and took it because How can I steal when my he car? came to my house and got his things, he took my spare key. I wasn't going to fight with him because my child was in the home at the time. That's your he key took to my, my car? spare key to my car, so whatever. I'm still going to be able to drive the car, whatever. He's been trying to blackmail me all these thousands of dollars to get the car out of his name. He's been trying to tell me that I'm not doing anything. If you don't want to be with me, I'm not going to help you out. You think you're going to just be driving and doing this in a car in my name? Pay me $2,500 and I'll get it out my name. You didn't think that she was just buying you a car? No, she wrecked one of my previous cars. Previous cars. Totally. What about car did I wreck? Totally. Shh. She totaled my car last summer and she was supposed to pay me off for that car. That's not true. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when she gave me money for that car... What car did I give you money the Malibu, for? The Malibu. The gold Malibu. Speak, man. Stop interrupting. She, she totaled my car. She, she can't that drive. That is a liar. She can't you drive. That's why she don't have a license. You are under okay. oath. She bought, a car, so she bought a car for $2,900. She never bought a car. I bought a car for $3,100. You're lying. I let her drive it, and then when I you when didn't, didn't want to deal with her man, anymore. Stop speaking. Okay. Stop talking, Those man. Speaks. Listen, I have my cousin right here. You had your time, let him speak. Right, I have my cousin who can help testify. Your boyfriend. Um, my cousin, Dewan, is here. He was here throughout the whole situation. He knows that she's lying. I don't even know him. It was a car. That, oh, he, he stayed at your house he before. He never stayed at my oh, house. Oh, okay. ma'am, if you cannot follow <laughs> instructions, you'll be asked to leave. Stop talking. Jerry, I let her, I let her drive the car. It's not like true. Like she said, she needed to get her son to daycare. It's not true. So I let her drive the car. And when I didn't want to deal with her no more from doing the childish things she did, I took the car back. What childish things? But thing? she stole it, sir. She stole you it. I reported it stolen. No, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. The car was reported stolen for over a you month. What happened? Stolen. Okay. Stop it. Who did you give the $2,900 to? I had the $2,900 I know personally. You. Yes. I, I went to go look at the car with my cousin. Yes. And once I realized that I couldn't get the car in my name. I understand you asked him. Exactly. But this $2,900 in it cash was my or money. check. I have bank statements withdrawing well, the $2,900. Okay. So that was the $2,900 was your money. My money. Are you on the bill of sale? Yes. So, okay. And that's what I have here. What's so that? you purchased the car from this person. Yes, and I and also- And you gave the 2900 to that person. Yes. Okay, and here is the bill of sale. So she purchased the car. There then was some kind of 
understanding or something whereby the car was put in your name. So I you're right, you are the legal owner of the car. The question, what this suit is about, Gave she may money. not have been purchasing a car for you because she loves you. She, she made this arrangement with you. Please put it in your name. I'll pay for it. We'll put it in your name because I, I'm, I can't get it registered as long as my license is suspended. I purchased that car off of Alexis Road. I purchased that car. The car that you met me at, the place that you met me at right here? I don't even know what that messages. is. This I your time out. Car, sir. So whoever got the car got, I got it the for car. $5,100. You say you spent 31 of your own money? Yes. And you're saying you spent 29. Where's the bill of sale that you purchased the car? The Show title. me your evidence. I have the title. You're lying. You can't even keep up with I your know lies. you Tell have the, the title. Tell the truth. I want to know where you, you never purchased gave me it. a bill of sale. I know. The question is, who put the money up for that car? I did. She has evidence. You don't have any evidence. You that never I put gave the, me what money, What evidence Martin? does she have? You never gave so me money. True. She bought the car, and the title is in your name. If you would give me an alternative bill of sale, then I'll find out which is the fraudulent one or not. But I, you're not giving me anything. You came to court. You knew you were coming to court. I didn't know I had to have, bring a bill of sale for a what? car that I purchased. You didn't know she I was never, gonna have my ducks in a row. You're not gonna let me talk. She never gave me money for a car. She said she gave me money. Now she said she gave the money to him. Of course, she bought the car. I don't, and then you had it put in your name. That's and she not told what happened. you why. That's what not happened. Okay. The money, that $2,900 was money she paid me back for my car, she crashed, That sir. is not true. I know your car was damaged. Yes. Where is the proof that she damaged it? I got... You, a, show me something. That's the countersuit. B. That's the countersuit. Yes, sir. I see evidence here, and there is no question that your car was damaged and what the cost of repairing that damage was. I see here the statement of $4,800. The only additional thing I need from you is proof that she caused the damage. Is there a police report? Because maybe someone hit her while she was driving, and that's the party that's responsible. But what you haven't submitted to me is evidence that she was ultimately responsible for the damage to your car. Do you remember his car being damaged. No, he's lying. So, when you have okay. this car one like this, you have a police no. camera right in front of your house. Do you no, have it? Okay, seriously. No, I do not. When when the accident happened, where's the police report? No, she did a hit and run. You don't have it because you're lying. She did a hit you and run, even, sir. Listen, Listen, says you haven't on, been in my life for months. Okay. Question. okay. Well, I, just making up stuff. If I'm going to make a decision, I need some proof. In this case, the counterclaim, you're the plaintiff. That means you have the burden. You chose to come to court to file this claim. Yes. And you have to then bring me proof that the defendant who you are suing is the one responsible to the damage to your car. Okay, well, this so happened while this car was in her possession. Let me hear from the witness. And, and your name, sir? Duan. Duan. Hi, Duan. What do you know about the Chevy accident? Were you there? Do no, you... I wasn't there for the Chevy Oh, accident. so you don't know anything about there the Chevy accident. There was never no accident. So this you're call. just talking about the focus thing. Yes. Okay, on the countersuit, yes. there's no proof that she caused the accident. It was clear to her that the car was put in, that she paid $2,900. There's proof of her money coming out. There's proof of the bill of sale. She's not saying she gave you a gift. That's what she's if, saying. If, if it was a gift, she, was she wouldn't be back. coming to court saying you stole it. Yes, sir. So she it, it stole, would have been I a gift. That this car so was she's stolen. not even saying you it's a loan. You reported it stolen when you were blackmailing right. me and it wasn't working. I find for the plaintiff $2,900. The countersuit I dismiss. After I took my car back, she came and slashed the tires out of my bus and put sugar in the tank. Um, she just keep causing problems in my life, man. The fact that he tried to counter sue me is not surprising. Martez always got a trick up his sleeve. He's nothing but a liar, him and his boyfriend. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.